welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Squish and Reviewing the Market. I called the 430 calls last week. I called these. Last week I called these. I knew that this would get to 430 between now and July 2nd. It actually got to 430. Actually, it was a positive trade before today, but it actually got to 430 yesterday. So I thought there was a good exit on this. But if you held this, so unusual, but this was such a great call that you could have held this trade and made more money on the very last day of expiration. I don't advise doing that, but I'll tell you right now, if you did, look at that. 433.49, amazing move in the SPY. And this was so cheap. This was, You could have got this for like 50 some cents when I called it. <laughs> and you know, and, and we're breaking out. And everyone was like, oh, this market's so choppy. We're gonna fall, we're gonna fall, we're extended, we're extended. I said all along we weren't extended. I was right. This was a great call. We are getting bought. And you know, lo and behold, the unemployment number out today was actually worse than expected. We had a better jobs number, but the unemployment rate was actually not quite over 6%. It was 5.9, but we we're expecting it to be less. So it didn't even matter. Market doesn't care. Market is getting bought. Market is rallying. And you're having the shorts get stopped out. Who shorted? Which, you know, no one should have done. Anyways, we had a nice move here, a beautiful move. And, you know, it's Friday, it's getting into the long weekend, we're going into next week. Next week, there's going to be a very, 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 very light week as far as earnings go. So what would affect the market? You never know. You never know. I mean, we have so many things going on economically, the stimulus plan. And just in general, when you look at the strength of some of the indices right now, I mean, you say, gosh, they could just continue up and up and up and up and up. But I mean, I really think that this week was a good exit in longs because we had such a nice bullish move. If you're gonna hold something in the trade into the holiday week and into a three-day weekend, you really have to have 100% conviction that it's gonna make a move on the following day, which would be Tuesday. And I really think that's a long time to hold a trade, especially if you're up 100% in it, which this was, with this, this was more than 100% actually if you held this through today. But I thought yesterday was a great exit in it. So we'll see really where we go next week. But if you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, I am doing a July 4th special. I'm doing a July 4th special through July 5th. Um, it's a really nice savings and totally worth it. People are doing it so well on the letter. Um, and it's been really a good trading period. I've been right on the money about a lot, a lot of things. So email me and Melissa at thestockswish.com if you'd like to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter or if you have any questions for me. Have a good day, everyone.